What's up guys, Austin Newman here with Learning 5 where you can learn After Effects tutorials in just 5 minutes or less. Today we're going to be talking about the Catch Me If You Can title sequence. It's very well known, it's very cool in the MoGraph world, and uh, it's very simple to do. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this effect now. First thing you want to do is create a new comp, Command N on Mac. I have HD settings 1920 by 1080 with a 24 frame per second frame rate. So now that we have our new comp, we're going to go ahead and go over here to our font tool, click text. I'm going to type in catch me if you can, just for the sake of this tutorial. And by the way, this uh, font is Helvetica regular. We're going to go ahead and use the align tool to put it right in the middle. That's where we want it. And if you want it to look like the actual poster, you'll just grab the top here and scoot this down just a little bit and we'll realign. All right, so now that we have this font, we're going to go over here to our layers, right click on the font layer and create shapes from text. This is going to assign each individual letter as a shape. So it's going to read like that to After Effects and we can manipulate these shapes however we want. So we're going to go ahead and go down here to contents and now each of these letters is its own shape. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm only going to touch the H so we'll go ahead and twirl that down and click the stopwatch to create a keyframe. And then I'm also going to mess with the N at the very end for catch me if you can. And click the stopwatch on that. Now this can be a little bit confusing. So let's go ahead and make this a little bit simpler. Now that we've set our keyframes, go back up here to the layer, highlight that and click U on your keyboard. And that'll take out everything except for the properties you've already changed. Let's go ahead and move forward to one second and let's start with the, let's see, let's start with the H. So the bottom right, I'm going to click and drag while holding shift to keep a nice straight line. Otherwise it'll go all over the place. So hold shift down and make sure these two boxes down here are lined up. Otherwise it's going to look like a knife coming down unless you want that effect, in which case you can do that. So now we've dragged that down. Let's go over here to the end, click, click, hold shift and drag, click, hold shift and drag. Make sure those line up and let's go ahead and take this back just a little bit. The thing about these effects is that you never really want an animation to start at the beginning of a composition. So put this right here at one second should do the trick and then we're going to highlight all these keyframes right click keyframe assistant and easy ease them just to give it a nice look then we're going to go over here to motion blur enable that and click it on your layer and then you do this for each of the different letters that is all you have to do for this It's a very simple technique it's something that can add a lot of value to any text that you want to do or if you just want to create the title sequence in your own time Thanks for joining me guys. If you learned anything from this tutorial, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe for all of you new YouTubers out there, new After Effects users who want to learn some really cool quick tricks for After Effects. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram at Austin Makes Films. I appreciate you joining me today and until next time, we'll see you later. Baby.